Hey guys, in this video, you're gonna see a regular day at the office. I spent some time at downtown, and I'll introduce you to my friend Sansai, who got a job as an Angular developer after teaching himself code within only 10 months. Check out the video. Hey guys, it's Tony. This is my technical director. Am I a hard worker? No. <laughs> Whatever. Flame boiler. I got flame boiler. Right, guys um i just went to the corner office to hide from everyone really quick um so i just had lunch had flame broiler uh this morning i'm just fixing some bugs at work i had to do some javascript and do some redirecting redirecting on some pages uh, right now i need to work on some mustaches if you guys don't know what that is just google it this morning i came to work early i uploaded a new video the video is about web developers and how to be a junior web developer what is the minimum skills you need to become a junior web developer there's so many different people who say you need you know, to know Ajax, you need to know JSON, you need to know PHP, MySQL, you need to know Python, C Sharp, but really there's a minimum requirement. And the question is, when can I start applying to be a junior developer? Wow, should that be the title? Maybe. Hey, I, I just hit 500 subscribers today, and it, I've only had this channel for five weeks, and that's insane. I just wanted to say to everyone, thank you so much. I am very humbled. I did not expect this to happen. All I wanted to do was just share my life as a developer because that's something I was looking for when I was learning. Because of that, I want to do something for you guys. Uh, a lot of people have been hitting me up asking questions about code, at least in the front end aspect because I'm a front end developer. So I want to do a giveaway, I guess you could say. It's not a giveaway of money, I don't have much, um, but it's a giveaway of my time, meaning uh, for three selected people, uh, in this giveaway, I'm not sure, I might do it, let me know if you guys are down for it, um, where well, everyone will have to do something, and whoever wins from the people who do do it, I'll give that person, uh, those three people, a 30 minute FaceTime meeting, if not Google Hangouts, so we can share screens also, and you know, you can ask me questions about anything, what did I do to get a job, uh, what, you know, what am I studying now, how did I study, what did I do when I was learning, why did I study during work, what was the situation, or what, do, what advice can I give you in your situation? Are you in school right now? Do you feel like you should go back to school? Should you just go treehouse? Should you go to a boot camp? Um, all these questions you could ask me in person too. So, I mean, all these people ask me this already on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, but to be able to do that for 30 minutes, I think it'd be a good way for you to start up your the beginning of your future career as a developer. So let me know if that's something you guys want to do. All right, I gotta get back to work. So this is the corner office where sometimes I take naps on my lunch breaks <laughs> and they know but yeah you can't really see the hallway but okay I gotta go back to work I'll get back to you guys man look at that weather finally raining but beautiful sun nice but hey guys I'm just taking a lap around my office right now my brain is fried there's this code that I can't solve right now and I'm hoping that taking a lap around the office will rest my brain, help me figure out how to solve this. All right, so it's about 5 p.m. I'm off work now. There were some bugs I was not able to solve, a little stressful, and I had to get some help from the more senior developers, but that's fine. That's how you learn code. That's how you get better. That's how you improve, by asking for help when you can't solve a problem, knowing when you've put in enough time trying to solve it and that you just can't solve it so you don't waste time because I spent hours <laughs> and I tried and I thought I was able to do it and then I just figured I need help. I, there's more stuff in the back end that I need help with. So, By the way, there's someone here waiting for me right now to pick me up. Best girlfriend in the world. You wanna see her? Watch. Right there in the car waiting for me. She's right there waiting for me. Okay, we just arrived here downtown. I'm not gonna really show anything. I'm not gonna talk, but I'm just gonna video what we do. Uh, what, what, what's around in my area. This is right next to my work and we'll have some fun. Oh, she's totally fun. Oh my! <laughs> what's going on? It was on? accidental both times, but that was pretty funny. Lock the door. Oh yeah. That's
We're gonna go into her favorite store here at the district. Are you ready? It's not really a store. It's not really a store, but. Alright, I, I was supposed to end the video here, but um, I just got a snap from uh, Sunsai. I'm not sure if that's how I pronounce your name, man, but when you see this, hit me up in the comment below and I'll pin your comment to the top of this video. Sunset. Well, if that's how you say it, um, dude, man, I'm proud of you. You worked hard to get where you are right now. I'm, I'm glad you love your job. Not many people are able to say that they were able to push themselves to teach themselves code. Uh, looks like you learned from Treehouse. Yeah, that's actually exactly what I felt when I first got hired at my company. When they said they want to hire me when I have no experience at all. Uh, one thing I suggest is as you start in this new career in the IT, um, just make sure that you always stay humble, you always stay hungry, and you're always learning. Because one thing I can tell you from my experience from past developers is that they get really big headed and they think they deserve everything. But stay humble and keep growing. You can do it, man. Uh, he taught himself code in 10 months. He learned Java, he learned Angular, he learned JavaScript, he learned all of the above, became a full stack developer, and he's making, you know, a good income. And the reason is because he pushed himself, he was able to persevere. When there were times where he wasn't able to understand something, what did he do? He pushed through and he just persevered. Now he is an Angular developer. Uh, he's making things that he never would have been able to make 10 months ago or even imagine he could make it. So I have Sansa, hey man, he could do it. You guys could do it too. So uh, the reason I recorded Snapchat for you guys to see isn't just to brag, but it's to show that, you know, it's not only I can do it. Right? I'm not the only one who's ever been done this in the past. I'm not the only one who's done this in the past, but you guys can do it also. How are you? I'm doing all right. Um, dude, I really appreciate it. I was actually gonna uh, go to bed and then I decided to uh, <laughs> kind of like you even explain your own video. Like it's, uh, it seemed like more realistic than any of the other ones. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know any JavaScript. I didn't know any jQuery. I didn't know PHP in my sequel. But what I noticed is that when I interviewed with the CEO of the company, he saw how passionate I was. You know, um, he saw how I, I already made.